Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil, and I just got a brand new computer last week. And so I've been setting that up. I got it through TechSoup. They do refurbished computers and monitors. So I got two monitors and a computer. And, you know, it's always a challenge to set everything up. And one of the biggest challenges I always have is setting up Outlook because, um, yeah, I just always wanted to feel a certain way because you spend quite a bit of time in there. And one of the challenges is I have a lot of email addresses. And since this is my own computer, I want to have all of my email addresses running through it because I have one for my work through the university and I have one through my work through the Global Methodist. And I have a Gmail and a Yahoo and a Hotmail and one through my internet service provider and then one through my JCT accounting. So I have a lot of emails. And if they don't all go to Outlook, some of them are going to get forgotten. And that's what happens a lot of times with, uh, especially, yeah, some of them just get forgotten and I just don't look there anymore. So I'm going to show you how I set it up and I think it's pretty slick and I think I have a couple other tips and tricks that I learned along the way. All right. All right. So here is my outlook and you're going to see, I have quite a few email addresses. I have seven email addresses. So you can see they're all collapsed here. And you can rearrange them, by the way, quick and easy. Just click on them and drag them. So left click and drag up and down. Um, they're collapsed, so you can see all everything there if you uncollapse them, if you expand them. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is I like to keep all my inboxes as favorites because that's where I go 99% of the time. So you see all these are my seven inboxes. And here's how you add something to your favorites. So go ahead and I'll go to my Yahoo and under, I'm just going to do it with the trash. So right click, add to favorites. And then there it shows up. So it's right there in my favorites. So I'm going to right click and remove from favorites and even your favorites. So once you add all your inboxes, if you're like me, maybe you want to add some sent, uh, sent items or whatever it is, then you can just drag them and put them wherever you want. And I put them in order of highest priority to lowest priority. I'm also one that wants to be an inbox zero type of guy. So the number there, it's not the typical one. You see it has the brackets around it because I want to show, I want to, so I right clicked, went to properties and I want to see all the messages not just the unread ones. So when I go to unread, you can see that now that number changed and seeing all the messages is very motivating for me because it seems like if I don't, if I don't zero it out, they accumulate and I got bigger problems later on. So I, I am trying to get back to inbox zero. So how did I add all these email accounts? So you go to file and account settings and account settings and it's pretty pretty simple for most of them um, especially if it is like your office 365 one if that's the work or if it's a hotmail or a whatever some microsoft one those are super easy actually gmail is pretty easy too most of them know it automatically there is a little bit of a complicating factor for yahoo and probably some of the other ones too um, but anyway uh, that's, you can, what I do is I normally look like for Midco, what I did was I had to Google Midco, uh, email set up in Outlook and I was able to figure that out. Same way with my JCT one, it's Titan. Uh, one of the other things you have to do is for the non Microsoft ones, change your name. And then I also renamed it. So I changed my name to Jeff Pospisil and then I changed it to Gmail there. Uh, nothing really to change here because yeah, the Microsoft ones, you really can't change much. Um, some of these things you, yeah, I, I normally don't fiddle too much with any of those other ones. You can set which one's the priority. Uh, and that just means that's the default one it's going to send out of. And that's not necessarily the same as your default calendar. I just found out, um, if you have to go to the data files and pick the default one there if you want to set your default calendar. I didn't show that because I just found that out earlier today. So, all right. Some of you that are probably a little bit older, um, like myself, you might have a Yahoo address. And I keep it mainly for, if they ever ask you for an email address, but I really, 
uh, know I'm going to get junk mail through it, I give them my Yahoo one. And it can be a little bit complicated. And I'm just going to show you. So first of all, let's um, let's go back to the. So here's my email. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you click on your name and go to account info. And once you go to account info, you end up here. Actually, you end up at the personal info one. But then you click account security. Scroll down. And then there's this other ways to sign in. And what you want to do, and I'm not going to redo it because I don't want to mess it up, but you generate and manage app passwords. And you're going to get this app password. You're going to want to copy it. And that's going to allow you to set up your Yahoo in Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to include a link to the article that explains how to do it, but at least you see a little bit of how to do it right here. And that was a little bit tricky was setting up my Gmail calendar in Outlook. Um, yeah, I just, I like to have all my calendars also all together. So let me go ahead and show you this. Go to calendar.google.com and hopefully I'm zoomed in enough. I am going to go to this little gear thing and click settings. And then you got to go ahead and click on this one. So settings for my calendars. This is my main calendar, my personal calendar. And when I go to this integrate calendar, they're going to give you, there's this public one, but then there's this secret one, uh, secret address in iCal format, whatever. So anyway, what I did is I copied that. I hit that little box thing and I copied it. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to file account settings and over to this internet calendars and you can see I already added it but if I was going to do it new what I would do is I would go ahead and paste that then so I copied it and I pasted it and now all of a sudden it's in my calendars so here it is by the way I like to collapse my calendars so I have three main calendars that I use my uh, school one my gmail one and my work one and so here here they all are. So that's my Gmail calendar. Or not a whole lot of activity going there. There's my school one, which is slowed down uh, considerably. And then here's my work one. And so when you hit this arrow, then it all of a sudden combines it. So that's pretty slick. And now all of a sudden they look like they're all one calendar. Um, yeah, I just did think that was that was a slick way of doing things. All right, I'm going to share with you one more tip that I just found out. One of the things that was annoying was whenever Outlook opened, it was opening up to my school email address instead of my work email address. And I, I didn't know how to fix that because it's not tied to your default email address. So what I did was I went to File and Options. And then underneath Advanced, click on that. You can see it says... Um, start outlook in which folder and if you click the browse you can see all your folders so i mean you can literally go anywhere you can even do your to-do list um, they're all there so that's that's nice too um, one of the things that i also do um, i'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and I like to i like to set up my view so go to your view so that it's very specific so I don't like the reading pane um, because I want to read it once and delete it. So I do get rid of my reading pane, but I like having this calendar over there with my appointments. And by the way, I found out just recently how to go ahead and um, it, it, it's not your default email address again. And I'll link to a file or a, a news article that shows you how to fix it, but it's in your data files. So when you go to account settings and data files, that default data file determines your calendar in the to-do list. So play around in here. Um, however you work best, set it up that way because you're going to spend a lot of time in here. You might as well make it as comfortable and as efficient as possible. All right, that brings us to the end. I hope this was worth your time. I mean, for me, 
I, like I say, I spend quite a bit of time in Outlook and I just want it to be as quick and as efficient as possible and as comfortable as possible. I don't need to spend any more time than necessary there. So uh, if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, comment. Um, until next time, God bless.